For gaming stocks, Roblox, EA, and Unity all on deck with earnings after the bell. Roblox and Unity down double digits in today's trading session. EA just slightly lower. There's a New York Times report that the company and FIFA are ending their three-decade video game partnership. That's a big deal. Let's get to all of it with Steve Kovac, who joins me now. Steve, three very different companies. Yeah, that's right, but all gaming-related and all struggling. Three big ga uh, gaming names reporting, and two of them are those metaverse darlings we've been talking about for the last year or so. First up is Roblox, which is down almost 90% from its high last fall and over 75% for the year. Then we got Unity. They're the company that sells software to studios to make video games, and they're seen as a key to the metaverse development. It's down 64% on the year. And finally, we have video game giant Electronic Arts, like we just mentioned, faring better than the other two, down 14% for the year, but still seeing plenty of pressure. And the story's the same with all of these companies. They saw a huge boost of growth during the pandemic and all the excitement around the metaverse. And now they're going through these tough comps uh, as their growth rates slow down as people go back into the world. So a few key metrics to watch in the earnings after the bell. User numbers on Roblox and EA's Apex Legends game. That's what investors have focused on more than anything in gaming. If these gaming companies can keep players engaged as the world opens up. And then for EA, look for more detail on the rollout of the mobile version of that Apex Legends games, as analysts are expecting that to charge those user numbers. And like you said, EA also announcing today it's ending its nearly 30-year deal with FIFA, which will uh, still make soccer games under a new branding uh, starting next year. And that's a huge hit to one of EA's most lucrative and iconic gaming franchises. And also remember, we're expecting to see more M&A in gaming following the big deals we saw earlier in the year, like Microsoft buying Activision and that huge deal. So some of these could be targets, John, um, if they fall even more. Yeah, and we'll see if Microsoft is able to get that done. Steve, thank you. Thanks, John.